everybody. Welcome to another episode of Monday Mentor. I'm Noah, and I am really excited to talk to you about a subject that I get asked all the time, and that is, do you need a college education, and do you need to go to school to make it big as an artist, let alone a creative? So let's dive into that a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to give you my personal opinions on it and my personal takes, and then you can decide what you would like to do with that information and what kind of action that you would like to take on that now hearing it from me. <laughs> uh, basically, my thoughts are like this. I look at education like a buffet. Imagine walking into a hotel or you know some fancy restaurant or whatever, and there's this big, long buffet. And uh, education to me and what culture happens to advertise is the equivalent of asking me to eat every single thing at that buffet. And the problem is I'm going to pay a premium for eating at that buffet, but I'm not going to eat everything that is there. So personally for me, based on what my needs are and what my preferences are and what I want to uh, eat, I'm going to be probably spending uh, all that money on a brunch for something that I'm going to uh, enjoy the most, which is bacon and eggs. So I'm going to skip and bypass all over all the stuff that provides me no value, that has nothing that I want. I'm going to go straight to the bacon and eggs. So what does that make that? That makes those bacon and eggs the most expensive bacon and eggs you've ever had in your life. And I wanted to switch that up and flip that analogy around and put that on education because it's, a, it's basically, I believe that the sooner that we can uh, get life simplified to where we're not racking up a tremendous amount of debt on things that we're never going to use in the first place, hack college and hack education, meaning go after those things that are specific to what it is that you want to learn and get out, get in, get out. Get what you need, you take what you need, and put it to use as fast as possible. Now, let's say that college isn't an option. As it was for me, it wasn't an option. I wanted to go to Art Center at, in Pasadena. Uh, it was really, really expensive. I was qualified on an artistic level. I needed to get my general ed out of the way. But then I was like, man, I'm just going to be burning so much time here. And I was already working on clients' work, and I was always working, and I was already working on, uh, um, I was always work, already working on projects. So what I wanted to do is make sure that I had uh, the ability to still get the expertise that I needed and wanted, but I wasn't going to have to pay for it. So here's a few suggestions that I have, and I want you to write these down. You can rewatch this if you'd like. But here's the way that I propose and would encourage anybody that's watching this uh, regarding going into college. Do you need to go get an education in order to draw, in order to do creating and, and film um, and all that? So... Just take this into consideration. First of all, remember, I barely graduated high school. I hated the system. I hated culture. I hated spending time and wasting away on things that I was never going to use and wanted to only be focusing on those things that I knew I was going to use and put into practice and earn me fruit. The other thing that haunted me and nagged at me was that I was in there when I should be out there making things happen. So the sooner that I could take what I did want to learn and put that to practice, the sooner that I'd be making revenue, and the sooner I made revenue, the more dreams that I could be launching. So the wasting time was a big thing on my radar. Uh, here's what I suggest, and here's what I did. I started going around to illustrators, painters, and anybody that I knew that was doing what I wanted to do, and I asked them, and I hounded them, and I banged their door down, and I kept telling them that I wanted to take them to lunch. And I kept saying, listen, can I buy you lunch? Can I take you out? And I just have a few questions for you. And one of the things that I would suggest is when you find a person that's an expert in your field, when you take them out, don't waste their time. Have specifically the questions that you want to ask prepared and ready to go. You don't waste their time. They will appreciate that. And I know that whenever I've sat down to help share techniques and ideas, that it doesn't, uh, it's not long-winded and just open-ended. There's, um, you know, I would say such as, uh, you know, we're going to lunch. Here's the place that we're going. You pick their favorite spot. Uh, you know, we'll be done in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I have some questions that I want to ask. And then it usually fosters into somewhat of a relationship like a mentor mentee. And it's an ongoing, um, it's an ongoing relationship. Anytime that I ended those relations or anytime I ended that lunch, I would say, would, would it be okay if it, with you if I checked in next quarter and we put something on the calendar right now where we can revisit these questions and we can measure how well I've done. And you're more often than not going to find that mentors do want to pour into those people down um, behind them that are younger in age and that are coming up in the ranks. The other thing that mentors uh, are more than happy to do is to share their information, but 
they're more than happy to pour it into somebody that is going to use it and not just shelve it. The hard part for me is when I have somebody come and say, hey, I have this school project that I'm going to do. I need to do a report on a working artist and I want to do it on you. I'm like, okay, that's cool. But it really juices me and makes me stoked when I have somebody that's banging my door down that says, hey, I took what, do, took what you told me. I applied it. I got fruit. I got some results. And I need to come back and buy you lunch again because I want to give you the results, but I need to go to the next level. And so when can we do that? So find mentors who specialize in what you do. Another uh, tip and advice in terms of getting education is ask them to give you assignments in terms of what they would suggest that you do based on what their knowledge is. So if I'm going to talk to somebody about sketching and illustration or painting or whatever, I would look at and I would measure how good they are. And then I would say, hey, right now you might want to try go doing this. You might want to try go doing that. And then come back and let me take a look at it and I'll critique it for you. That is a very, very smart way to not waste a mentor's time, but still get the education that you need and still get the edu and still um, benefit from the mentor's relationship. Also, this is a very important point. You need more than one mentor. Mentors are uh, specializing in specific areas, but typically they won't have life well-rounded. Uh, one of my mentors is very well-rounded. He has pretty much every area covered that I, that I need to um, uh, drill him for in terms of information and wisdom. But when it came to my craft, I had to realize that uh, I, I would meet individuals that were amazing when it came to painting. Let's say the technical part of it. So I would drill them for the technical part. They might not have been the parent that I, I liked. They might not have been the business person that I liked. But on the technical level, I could juice them and did as much and glean from them as much as I could from their technical okay, part. Now, I would find another mentor that might be terrible at the technical, but man, they are a great business person. And maybe that I can go glean from them and say, hey, tell me a little bit more about how you built your business. How long did it take? What do I need to be looking out for? What are my blind spots? What would you suggest for me at my age? What would you do if you had to do it over again? Is there anything that you would be willing to share with me and tell me? That's another one. And the last one is you would find somebody that's more on, you know, so I have a spiritual mentor, I have a business mentor, I have technical mentor. And as you see, you start to have a portfolio of mentors. How many mentors do you need? As many as you can possibly get. And you really want to focus on spending time with those that are going to pour into you, but you're, you're going to reciprocate it. So um, also remember that when you start going out in your leadership and you're doing your own self, your own self um, education and getting your own education based on your terms and on your time, you're going to be in a very lonely uh, world and the culture is going to tell you that, no, in order to get in order to get successful, in order to be able to have success, you're going to have to go and get a piece of paper and that's going to be your voucher for being able to say that you're qualified in order to do it. In today's age, it's not based on the piece of paper that you have. It's in the work that you produce. Your calling card is what you've done, not what you know you can do or what you think you can do or what you tell people that you can do. If I have any individual, I don't care where they've been to school, I don't care what they've done, what I care is the value that they're going to provide. And one of the ways that they can show me the value that they can provide is what they're already producing, whether it's for themselves or whether it's for somebody else. So I don't want to listen to, oh, I've done this, I've been to this school, I've done that, that's great. But you know what? What really shows me your qualifications is what you're doing, what you're making happen and what you're building right now. So that's a great way to measure Remember, education is like a buffet. You're going to pay for a lot of things that you're never going to use, or are you specifically going to pay for those things that you're actually going to, to need and use in your arsenal, get in, get out. Now, if you're going to be a doctor, if you're going to be a lawyer, there's certain, you know, there's certain education just for that in terms of qualifications. But when it comes to the creative world, musicians, artists, um, uh, painters, uh, cartoonists, or, you know, you look at all these different avenues, illustrators, etc. My, I'm, I'm just a huge believer in I don't want to waste a whole lot of time in getting educated. I'd rather be going to find those experts in specific fields and just extract as much as I can from them and then take it to the next level with somebody else. So hopefully that's a, a question that can answer the, the question that most kids and most individuals are saying that they need to go back and in order to get hired, they need to get this degree. They need to have this piece of paper. I would encourage you just to stop for a second and ask, is that really the only way to do it? And if you were to sit and make a list of who are those individuals that you could go and get some time from and really drill down and get talking to some experts, what does that need to look like? And lastly, I'll close with this. Really, really, really 
understand that all it takes is asking. So many folks get wrapped up with the idea they won't listen to me, they won't take my call, they won't go to lunch. You'd be very, very surprised. A lot of folks that have been successful really want to look at others that are going to come alongside them and help them. And another thing to think about is the idea that sometimes if you really get a great relationship going, you, that might be the, the, the beautiful start of a mentorship turns into an apprenticeship. That turns into maybe being an assistant, maybe coming on board and helping part-time. Because if they know that you're hungry and you really, really want it, how great of an education would it be to study under somebody as opposed to going out there and study under somebody who wasn't able to do it or a bunch of people that are in a room of thinking about do it. Listen, I want to go hang out with those that are doing what I want to do. So I would encourage you to approach it in that way. Um, I'm Noah. This is Monday Mentor, and I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing week. Hope that helps. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if this has been a benefit of you or a benefit to you, would you do me a favor and share this and pass this along to somebody that you think would benefit highly from the information? Have an awesome week. Talk soon.